this one is interesting um, because uh, uh, John Turtletab, who directed National Treasure 1 and National Treasure 2, uh, never never got the chance to do National Treasure 3. And he actually says here in an interview that he thinks Disney is wrong about the franchise. And, and I completely agree. I mean, at the time, you got to understand, when National Treasure came out, the first one dropped in November 2003. What came out in July 2003? Pirates of the Caribbean. So you had two Jerry Bruckheimer produced action adventure films through Disney that both did gangbusters in 2003. I mean, it, it just would make sense to keep things going. Now, it says here, it seems like Disney has become the home for every franchise under the sun. But one popular franchise has seemingly been ignored by the studio, and the director of the franchise thinks that's a mistake. John Turtletab, whose new film is The Meg, was recently asked about the long-rumored third entry in National Treasure franchise. And while it seems the studio may not be entirely against the idea, he claims that Disney just thinks other franchises would be more successful. And thus, National Treasure 3 is being ignored. Turtle Tab respectfully agrees with the strategy, saying here, when National Treasure first got made, there was a lot more money to go around. Everybody got paid nicely. The problem with getting the third one made isn't that people who are getting paid saying, I'm not doing this unless you pay me a lot. It's really that Disney feels they have other films that they want to make that they feel will make them more money. I think they're wrong. I think they're right about the movies that they're making. They're just obviously not uh, doing a really good job at making great films. I just think this would be one of them. And they don't realize, quite realize how much the internet is begging for a third national treasure. And, you know, every time it comes up, I always see people talk about it well. But, you know, the article does kind of summarize it here pretty well uh, by finishing up here and saying, like, it's been over a decade since the second National Treasure movie was released back in 2007. But based on the numbers, John Turtletap's comments to Collider seem right on the money. First National Treasure saw Nicolas Cage and company stealing the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives, and it grossed over $350 million worldwide. The sequel, released three years later, outdid that number by a cool $100 million. Those certainly aren't box office numbers a franchi of a franchise that's cooling down. Now, ultimately, with, with, with uh, National Treasure 2, you know, going to uh, Mount Rushmore, finding an old Navajo treasure, kidnapping the president, I mean... Yeah, it definitely went a little bit a little bit bolder, a little bit crazier and didn't have Sean Bean being a badass villain that he was in the first movie. But it was still fun and it still it was able to, I think, really kind of solidify itself as a fun action adventure franchise. I think part of the problem with this movie, too, or with the franchise was we also had Sahara come out uh, two years prior and that one kind of crashed and burned, which is sad because Breck Eisner did a great job directing it. Matthew McConaughey was awesome. Uh, as Dirk Pitt, and the movie was a lot of fun. I, I still love Sahara to this day. And, you know, I would love to see them go back to that. I'd love to see these type of over-the-top action-adventure films make a comeback, right? But the big problem, too, is Disney, when it comes to Disney's in-house production, right, What the stuff Alan Horn is supposed to be doing, the stuff Alan Horn is supposed to be overseeing, it, 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 it it's just not working well for them, Right. Uh, look at look at uh, you know look at look at a lot of their you know they're they're doing the live action remakes right now of these of these movies of their animated films and those are doing well but have they put out anything else right I mean go back four five years Jesus five years to uh, to the Lone Gunman uh, not the, the Lone Ranger not the Lone Gunman that was a TV show on Fox uh, but the Lone Ranger in twenty uh, in twenty thirteen and that movie was was a bomb a midsummer bomb then you had even the year before that john carter coming out uh you know and that movie uh i think opened in march of 2012 and it bombed and, and the thing is that was a good movie john carter was an excellent film i don't care who you are right but disney when it comes to kind of original properties that aren't sequels uh, or in this case live action remakes of animated films uh are, are having trouble getting it off the ground their in-house production has really not done very well which is why they're focusing on these other movies. And I can't blame them for wanting to keep remaking these cartoons. Beauty and the Beast, which ultimately added nothing of value. Nothing of value. It didn't improve upon the original in any conceivable way. I mean, Christ, Lumiere dabbed, for God's sakes. He dabbed. He dabbed. That is just... That's a crime against humanity right there. It grossed over a billion dollars, and it was a mid-March release. So, you know, they, they know this is what's doing well. And I think that's why I think when it comes to, you know, look at Pirates of the Caribbean five last, last year, I, I, I you know, that movie, $200 million budget it crashed and burned. 
their their in house uh their in house production teams are just not not handling it, and so maybe they should, maybe they should look at National Treasure three. Uh, you know, toss toss some money to John Turtle Tab. Get in Nick Cage, Diane Kruger. They're not doing much right now, right? Nick Cage, we all know, works for like a box of Cracker Jacks and maybe a hand job, right? He gets out there, he'll work. Diane Kruger, she's again not doing too much right now. Get them in, and here's the thing: you make the movie as an as a Disney original for Disney Direct. You don't put this thing out in theaters. You you treat this as a Disney original film. Uh, that's going to go on Disney Direct. You 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 cut out the middlemen. You cut out all marketing. You you maybe you know cut the budget to like 75, 80 million bucks, right? And you tell a good story with these people, and you put it out there, and you copy the Netflix model. That's what they need to do. They they just got to copy the Netflix model, and ultimately it's going to work out better for them in the end anyway. But that's the whole thing is they're not gonna they're not gonna do that. They're just they're just not. It's just it's you know it's Disney. There they want to focus on Marvel and Star Wars. And given how bad Star Wars has been recently, at least in terms of public reception from Last Jedi and even the failure of Solo, they maybe want to start branching out into other things that can offset the cost. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see here. And speaking. 